scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Man of God, why is my life like this? I, I have watched with shock how that sometimes people can tell me, Apostle A, B, C, D is wrong with my life. And then I tell them, okay, listen to the following messages and then come and see me afterwards. Maybe listen to gaining spiritual stature, listen to this and that, and they just say thank you. And sometimes I can even point and say, the media stand is there. Just go there and they'll give you the teachings. They will laugh and do as if they are going to turn and then turn around, just greet and say, sir, just touch my head. That's all me I want. You see that? It's a sign that many of those people may not receive complete deliverance. And the danger is that if they don't receive it, they will go back and then in their frustration, they'll say this man of God may not really be a man of God. Are we together? Have you been to the hospital where a doctor will give you an injection now? There's that one, you take it immediately. You turn and receive it right now. And then he can now tell you, okay, there's this drug. In addition to that injection, take this morning, afternoon, evening for five days. After five days, return back and let me look at your condition. Are we together? Now, if you take that injection, you can decide to go back and be careless. It's amazing how your health is dependent on those drugs. And then you don't take them. And after five days, you return and say, doctor, something is wrong. And the doctor said, no. If you did what I told you, I already know what should happen. So I'm surprised that this is not happening. Transformation through the word. He came and met the man in his right mind. Remember that the man later became an evangelist and won the Decapolis, 10 cities, because his mind was right. The Bible says in Romans chapter 12, when you read from verse 1 and 2, specifically verse 2, it says, um, and do not be conformed to this world. I've taught you again and again, the Greek word there is the word aeon, the thinking pattern that comes with a dispensation. Do not be conformed to this world. It says, but be ye transformed. Everybody say, be ye transformed. It's not an advice. Be ye transformed. How? By the renewing of your mind. Transformation. Renewing your mind is deliverance. It is the scriptural way to close the door. That authorizes spirit entities to find expression in a person. Transformation. Transformation. Transformation is the way you become spiritual. A spiritual man is just, it's not just one who prays in tongues. A spiritual man is not just one who serves in church. Listen carefully. A spiritual man is not just one who is ordained. A spiritual man is not just one who is serving in a department. A spiritual man is one who has exalted the word of God. Listen very carefully. And the ways of God above the senses. So that man is governed not by his sensory perceptions, but by the word of God. When the word of God becomes the vista, your, your plane 
of looking at life you are a spiritual man you can pray in tongues and ignore the word you are not a spiritual man most times we convince ourselves that just because we find ourselves around dissipating spiritual energy committed in spiritual activities we believe that because we have done that for a long time we are spiritual no that may be religion true spirituality is measured by how much the word of God has not just found expression in your life, but has been received and the degree to which you are living by it. Many people are not spiritual. You know it by how they respond to life. A little challenge and you see them talking and you are wondering, ah, after five years in church, ah, I'm stomach pain, I'm dying. Everybody, ah, bah, no. The word of God is supposed to become a culture, a way of life. It influences your mind. It influences everything about you. The Bible says to be spiritually minded. It says to be carnally minded is death. Not will make you die. It's already death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. It says set your minds above where Christ is seated. Are we together now? You can set your gaze, not by looking up, by indoctrinating yourself with the truth of God's word, such that you are immovable, you are unbendable. That's what it means to be spiritual. When you are transformed and you experience this dimension of deliverance, you now tear down the strongholds that operate in your life through thought patterns. Everybody say thought patterns. Please shout it, say thought patterns. Check every territory. Where spirits seem to gain grounds. The way those spirits gain grounds is by making sure they create a mind control system. So that the average person within that spiritual climate thinks in a certain way. I'll give you an instance. And please, I don't want you to feel embarrassed or whatever. I am not insulting any territory. But for instance, if you see a territory where there is a high rate of Maybe people getting pregnant without marriage. You find out that it's not just a wicked spirit that is working there. There is also a mindset. Are we together? That a lady of 12 years can be pregnant and the father can say, I'm proud of you. I mean, I can't believe you did this. This is, this is, this is fantastic. Meaning by tithing, you have settled the devourer. Yet you find out that that man's life does not change. Call for... Any kind of meeting that will give financial intelligence, he will look at you and say, no, it's not for us. You can go and uh, if God will bless me, he will bless me. So mindsets. We come from different territories. Some of us come from territories where it is easy for anger to come because revenge is part of the way the culture is built. Don't let anybody take you for granted. An eye for an eye. If somebody touches you, give it back to him sevenfold. As a sign that you are not weak. So in such cultures, if you don't revenge, you are, you are tainted as being weak. So now you are born again. And a brother offends you and there is that itch to revenge. And what a joy. A spirit has found a platform. And the spirit of anger comes. And before you know it, you wind your hand and give your wife a slap. And suddenly remember that you, you, you are supposed to have crucified the old man at the cross. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you, you know you are transformed when it takes a long time to trace you to a culture. Let me say it again. You know you are transformed. Aside from the physiological, the physiological features that can show that, okay, you are Yoruba, you are Hausa, you are Igbo, you are South-South and all of that. Aside from that, there should be such a level of, of an excellent approach to life based on the word of God. That if it is based on your communication, I should find a hard time knowing whether you are Yoruba or Hausa or Igbo. It's a sign that the word of God has superimposed your culture and your cultural limitation. Sadly, I can look at people and almost in a heartbeat just say, you are from here. Yes, you are from here. Yes. The way you are behaving, it looks like you are from Plateau State. Say, yes, sir. Say, huh? They are all like that. The way you are, it looks like Kaduna Abi. You look to me like you are, are you from Delta? I'm from Delta. How did you know? How do I know? Am I, am I mad? That's not a very, that's not an applause. Are we together? Because it's a sign that although you claim to be in Christ, experientially, 
you are still holding on to the strongholds and the mindsets. Are we together? That your transformation will so shock those around you. They looked at the disciples and they wondered, ah, are this not, what, what suddenly happened to you? They were so changed. One time they wanted to go back to this their life of war again. They said, Jesus, should we command fire? And Jesus turned and said, do you not know of what spirit? You have suddenly forgotten that you are from heaven. Transformed. Someone will look at you and say, I know you are going to deal with him. I trust people from your place. Abba, this guy is in for a shock. And all of a sudden, you reach out to someone in love and hug the person. And you look and you say, this is strange. You say, this is not strange. I have been called out of every tribe, of every tongue. Listen to me. Of every nation. Are we together? Yes. This is the basis. Let me tell you the truth. And I want to say something now that is, is a bit sensitive, but listen to me. I think that this is the reason why many people, especially our loved ones, fear certain individuals traveling or marrying or living across certain regions because they fear that based on the default experience, are we together now? There can be a problem there. And they are right, except for transformation. They are right. Are we together? So someone says, oh, I want to get married to someone from the north. And the mother looks and says, is this, what, is this how you want to repay me? After, after all I've done to you, this is, this is. And then you now say, ah, the man is, is, is even, is, that's why a small church has started a work. I say, hey, he's even a man of God. It may not be your father or your mother or your relative's fault. They have observed through time. That goodness. If someone within those regions accept the call, you accept the call and accept the stronghold that comes with that call too. And so far and almost, you know. But then they are amazed when they see that there is an excellent mind. Hallelujah. An excellent mind that vetoes your background. Say I've been called. Say it. Say I've been called. Out of my tribe out of my tongue out of my locality I come from heaven I only pass through my geographic territory if you don't understand this then we are wasting our time this night because when we begin to pray we are going to tell Satan it is true that you oppress people from Plateau State but I am not from there you see that it is true that you oppress people who are Yoruba people. It is true that you oppress Igbo people. But I only pass through there. My origin. My origin. So you don't tell me, oh, this land was dedicated to this. You may be right. But ah, I've been called. Something called me out of that tribe and tongue. Let me tell you, the fact that whatever is in your territory is still affecting you is proof that it still recognizes your cultural loyalty. Like if you are a football fan, let's assume you are a faithful football fan. Of uh, Give me one club side. Let me not create trouble now. Arsenal. And you are so faithful that they have your number. Even when you say I hate them, you can still get a text from them. There's a meeting tomorrow. It's a sign that they still recognize your loyalty, your fellowship. It's amazing how we keep saying we are not tied to these things. And when the spiritual text is sent, you get it. <laughs> The devil says you can talk all your nonsense. As far as I'm concerned, I'm sending a general text of failure to anybody in this family. And you are shocked that it reaches you. I say, no, my phone, you shouldn't receive this. That's your business. Your number was in the database. Transformation. 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 To rush to God, receive instant deliverance and run away from God is only implicating yourself. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Listen, it says the righteous run to it. It is say he runs in and then runs out and is saved. He runs into it and stays there. He that dwells, not he that visits. He that dwells. Listen, is the reason why many of our loved ones never receive breakthrough. They hate the house of God. 
So when they hear that there is a special program, they say, well, since you insist, let me visit. And they come and experience the power of God. And then they tell them, be planted in the house of God. Mm, all this church does thing, I'm not, I'm not in it. Please. Then they go back. And then they find out that it's a matter of time. This spirit's coming. Let me tell you, if you are a pastor, this is one of the reasons why you should trust God to have crowds come. It's not numbers. It's that you are giving God an opportunity to transform more minds. It's not all about just trying to look for a name. Oh, overflows here. We are this. I notice that there are men of God who so, I, I, maybe sometimes well-meaning insult crowds and insult pastors with large membership and make it look like it's not all about crowd. My brother, for God so love how many? That sounds like a crowd to me. He didn't say, for God so loved Jerusalem. He didn't say, for God so loved Nazareth. For God so loved Judea. No. It is God's will that all men be saved. And then the Bible tells us that part of our ministry is to disciple nations. Have you heard that word? To disciple nations. To disciple nations. Come from the word discipline. To keep them in a position where they learn. To teach them the matters of the kingdom. You must receive an appetite for the word of God. You must receive an appetite. Members must learn the value of sitting with the word to be mentored and to be trained. I have great respect for churches where the average member already knows the usefulness of sitting down to learn. Martha, Martha, you are worried and upset about many things. One thing is needful and that Mary has chosen to sit at the master's feet. It takes time to produce results so that your mind is changed, transformed. Are we together? So deliverance through transformation and transformation by the renewing of your mind. The word of God being the principal channel for your transformation. Are you willing to submit yourself to be transformed against culture, against the, the nominal mindsets, the mainstream mindset that comes? Because let me tell you, you become more like Christ when you think like him. That I'll forever be changing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Not just for two days, not just for one week. That I'll forever be changing after you. I'll be chasing after you. Pant after his word and pant after his presence day and night. Chapter 1 and verse 8, Joshua, the formula that God recommended for success. He says, this book of the law, so the foundation of a believer's possessing his possession, this book of the law shall not depart from out of thy mouth. He says, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night. How long? day and night say it after me day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein then and only then shall you make your ways prosperous who will make his way prosperous he says and then you will have good success this is god advising a man number three so that we'll move to the next level the third level of deliverance and this is the final level is called the discipline of conformity write it down the discipline of conformity this is where you actively participate and this is where a lot of dear brothers and sisters around the world miss it the discipline of conformity as a level of deliverance hmm. Romans chapter 8 and verse 13 
and then we'll look at Galatians chapter 6 verse 8 Romans 8 13 1 to read it's projected 1 to read let's start again for if he live after the flesh I told you what the flesh is a way of living a way of thinking are we together it says ye shall what but if ye through the spirit so you will mortify but an agency will empower you you are in grace but the doing is you I told you that grace has dimensions not all dimensions of grace work automatically there is saving grace you don't do anything you just receive there is grace that empowers you to do you participate the disciplinary dimension is your responsibility if he through the spirit do mortify the deeds of the body what will happen to you please talk to me you shall live Galatians chapter 6 and verse 8 Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. Whatever you ask of me, whatever you ask of me, I surrender. I mean bribery like corruption, political party. Corruption means death. Death, period, in one word, death. But he that soweth to the spirit, a man can sow to the flesh, a man can sow to the spirit, both are soils, and the Bible guarantees that the harvest is waiting for you. When you walk in bitterness, you are sowing. Oh, dear farmers, listen to me. You walk in bitterness, you are sowing. I'm born again. But what is this guy trying to show me? And you are sowing. And the Bible says a harvest will come. You don't, you don't walk with your wife. You are fighting your wife. You are sowing to the flesh. The harvest is that your heavens will be closed. The Bible said so. You are born again. You are anointed. But for being unwise in treating your wife. You pay the price with a closed heaven. That tight open. And then your disobedience shuts the heavens again. So a tightening wife Peter. Is plus one. Minus one. What's the answer? Whatever you ask of me, I surrender. One of the ways to sow to the flesh is to think that God is an expert in inconveniencing and rubbishing your life. You know, many believers believe that when you hand over your life to God, it's a call to stupidity, especially our generation. What is with this you and church? Come, darling. What is you? You're you a fine lady. You're a wonderful lady. I mean, there's a, a rich man somewhere. What is this church thing? You're turning your head. Don't mind this stupid apostle around. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. A man can sow to the flesh, and I promise you, whether you stop, whether you scatter the soil, it will still grow because they are all fertile soils. Could it be? That many people, although the demons were casted, the discipline of conformity, discipline, the spirit of God will empower you, but you must see the value of waking up in the night to pray as a principle that helps you confirm. Are we together? Don't sit down there and say, Lord, the grace is not there, it's raining. This night is so cold and you just fresh. You are not serious. You have to speak, you have to create your reality. Someone can meet you and say, My dear. You are a very beautiful lady. There is a bar around. God has granted you the grace. You use your mouth and say no. You can say, well, let's see how things go. You have sown to the flesh. There is a harvest coming. When you get tipsy and a truck jams you, that's the harvest. When you snuff Dramadol and you lie down by the bridge and Mopol comes to carry you and they jail you for five years. What That's called harvest. Say harvest. Shout it, say harvest. It doesn't matter how it came. Listen. This is not being under the law. Get the point. This is not being under the law. God is not a fool. He works with us physically. If God tells me to bless you, watch this now. If God tells me to give you 10,000, 
If I say, come and collect, why do you come? Why do you get up and come and stretch your hand and say, thank you? You are participating. It took discipline for that to happen. Are we together? Let me tell you this. God can speak and say, Pastor Alpha, you will be a mighty man. If you don't have the discipline of constraining yourself to conform to that word, you will keep seeing yourself raising wheelchairs in your dream till you die. You will never see it. There is nothing in the kingdom that does not require discipline. He said, he that warreth is not, he that strives for mastery, he said, is not crowned except he strives lawfully. There is no gift of fasting. Hello? Have you ever seen it in the Bible? There is no gift of... Whoever lied to you that fasting, your stomach will not... You will hear all kinds of noise while you are praying. You have to choose between the noise and your destiny. It's the discipline of conformity. Lord, if I stop fasting now, and this grace goes down, what of the people that will be blessed? No, I receive grace, I will pray. You think those who get up in the night and pray and those who fast, just a, a supernatural wind just blew somewhere. No, sir. I'm sorry to say this, but our generation is a very indisciplined generation. That's why we don't become successful. We don't take anything serious, not just God, even our destinies. Are we together? You start a business, you open your shop by 12. You close it by 4 at will. You may have a bottle of olive oil in that shop. I guarantee you, you will still fail. Because there is no discipline. Father, if it be thy will, take this cup off me. But mm, nevertheless, nevertheless, it is within my power. I have the power to lay it down. I have the power to take it up. I have the power to keep quiet. I have the power to speak. When they talk against you, you have the power to keep quiet so that God will now arise and fight. Let's not throw everything to God and just make a fool out of our lives. You have the power to be disciplined. God has anointed you to be a good worship minister. You need to be disciplined to wake up in the night to pray and receive songs. And write and edit and receive songs. As a man of God, you are called, you need to be disciplined. To sit down and take notes and research materials. Do you know, let me tell you sincerely. Jordan is here and he will tell you. Do you know how many books I read just for this, this series? You won't believe it. I listened to more than 11 to 15 ministries. Different perspectives. Not because I don't know anything about it. Why will you read so many books just for a series? Everybody say discipline. Please shout it. I know you don't like it. Say discipline. Nothing just happens like that. This is where many of us miss it. There is a dimension of deliverance called the discipline of conformity. You constrain yourself. On the strength of what you are looking at. There's too much distraction. You want to be great but anything goes. Oh, someone is marrying somewhere. I need to run and go. Yet God is calling you a man of God. You have a conference in two days. You are there, one naming ceremony there. You are there again to cut, uh, to, to, to one of, you are, you are just moving up and down. And then you wonder why the power of God does not come. Discipline. There are times I am so tired, humanly speaking, let me tell you. Sometimes you see it. I can be so tired the last two weeks, I've been ministering every day back to back. You think if I have, if I have my way, what do you think I, I want to be doing now? Just find somewhere, somewhere and, and throw away my phone and, and shut my ears and sleep. It's called discipline. Yes, there is grace. But let me assure you, if you are not disciplined, you are abusing the grace of God. There are many funny graduates around just waiting and believing that with, with indiscipline and carelessness 
they don't pay attention to conform to the terms of success insult anybody and believe they will prosper my father is this no respect for authority no respect for anything the discipline of conformity philippians chapter 3 we'll read from verse 12 to 15 philippians chapter 3 not as though i had already attained this is paul either were already perfect the word perfect there's the word mature but i follow after that if i may apprehend that for which i am also apprehended of christ jesus 13 brethren i count not myself to have apprehended one of the sponsors of indiscipline is an arrival mentality the moment you believe you have arrived the deception of little results the deception of little success one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and doing what reaching forth unto those things that are before me 14 i the first two words please speak to me i remember this was the guy that taught us the pauline epistles i press i press have you read that place that the bible says to walk out your own salvation with fear and trembling i press towards the mark i press i press towards the prophetic word it is true that god has told me you are a deliverer in this family and the grace has come that grace will make sure i must be on fire so i press i wake up in the night Shakapatakata. lord the mantle for the deliverance of this family is in my hands while they are sleeping they can sleep but i press let every other name fade away Let every other thing fade away. Ah. Let every other thing fade away. Listen. Listen. It will take you engaging prophecy through discipline. Otherwise, it will never come to pass. The ministry you have seen in the spirit, no matter how many demons are casted out of you, if you don't cooperate with the spirit to com to conform, you will never have it. You can sit down and see yourself building, building an estate. I saw an estate and I saw a spirit behind the estate. Apostle Joshua Selman can say in the name of Jesus, that spirit go. The spirit has gone. But you do not sustain the discipline to sit down. That discipline may mean upgrading your mind. That discipline may mean you sitting and speaking every day. That discipline may mean you telling certain friends, look, I'm in a new season. I love you. I know we're from the same background, but honestly, I must leave you now. Discipline, I can tell you this from experience. You will never do business with God if you ignore discipline. I think. Don't just think, no, you have a right to do whatever you want to do. It takes discipline. To sit down and count the money and say in the name of Jesus. I know that I, I have what it takes to complete this nice shirt. But in the name of Jesus, I choose to say no. I love my tomorrow more than my yesterday. I love my tomorrow more than today. Spirit of the living God, I will, I will, I will walk with you. I discipline myself. It's better to be hungry today than to eat tomorrow's food today. Are we together? The next time you admire someone with a mighty hand of God, let me tell you, among the many parts of the equation, don't just say he's lucky. There is discipline. I say this with all humility and not to brag. When I stand here by 7, I leave here by 12, almost every Friday. It takes discipline. Do I have to do it? If I say I'm not seeing anybody, nobody's going to even say, Apostle, you have tried. I come and stand here and I go back home and it's not sleep that I'll sleep. Sometimes by five, I have to be up to catch a flight. Say discipline. Don't just say, God is increasing these people. Discipline. 
It takes discipline to see God's money and leave it there. Really rest upon your shoulder. I remember a few years ago, we went to a particular hotel, very nice hotel, went for a ministration. And I was preparing for the meeting. The hotel had swimming pools, had a lot of things. And these were wonderful people. I mean, when these guys saw this swimming pool, they were happy. They just went, they were swimming, they were playing table tennis. I was just watching them from my And I laughed. The luxury. But somebody is coming three hours later, crying and saying, Lord, will you change my destiny? And I swim away that person's miracle. <laughs> there is a time to swim. Now is not the time. Don't get me wrong. There is a time to swim. Are we together? Discipline. There are times that I go to minister somewhere. And they prepare a very serious honorarium. And God says, don't collect it. Bless the people. Say discipline. It takes discipline to obey. Lay your hands on your head and say, Lord, take in discipline out of my life forever. Pray. Shabakato sadabalakata. Discipline of conformity. to take my destiny seriously the grace to take my assignment seriously the grace to take the destinies of others seriously that through discipline I can cast out devils from my life discipline in waking up early discipline in studies discipline this one thing I do Forgetting the things that are behind. I press by faith as a sign that I believe my future. Hallelujah. Listen, please sit down. Thank you. If these three levels of deliverance doesn't happen to you, forget about possessing your possession. The spirit may be casted out, but your mindset will allow it to stay. Do you know, for someone, you don't have any spirit in you, but this is the access point. For others, just discipline. God told you that there is something you have to read in a book. You bought that book since January till today, and the spirit of God is waiting for you. And you're saying, Lord, you've not brought your word to pass. And God said, no, 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 no. I answered you since January. The indiscipline to sit down. I will go to Jordan's bookstore tomorrow. Uh, Jordan, is this book around? It will arrive next week. You don't follow up. All successful people, whether in the secular or in this, even those who drink and smoke, they are disciplined. Forget all that acting they do. They are very disciplined. Disciplined with money. There are people like that. God has casted the devourer but in discipline. You collect a salary of 30,000. You carry your friends immediately to a restaurant and blow up 20,000 and wonder why the spirit of poverty still remains. Discipline. As a student, you are wearing a uniform of 10,000, 20,000 and all your parents give you in a month is 5,000. Say indiscipline. That's right. Indiscipline. I don't cook. You are a student. I don't, it's not, I'm, I'm, it's not my thing. This, this, our pride is what, in Africa especially, is why these spirits never let us go. What of our parents? The discipline of getting, oh, sir, um, God is going to touch you, but can you be disciplined and just wait? Um, I'm not, mm, I, I can't do that, I can't. I, I, you want life to bless you at your own terms. That's a joke. Who for the joy that was set before him. What did he do? Endured. Endurance takes discipline. Have you seen people in a gym? Someone in a gym trying to work out. Have you seen people laughing in a gym? Except if they are producing videos for you to buy. 
But if, if they are in a gym, meaning be carrying all those things, look at the world heavyweight. Their faces become ugly, and yet they are determined. While he's doing that, he's seeing the trophy already. You need to see something that gives you the strength to not be distracted. And we will never settle for less. We know there's more that's found in in your family where all the women marry terrible and unserious men watch this now now it is true that you have been delivered that spirit was casted out are we together please hold on and then God now helps you to think well and then God says wait until my will comes what does he tell you wait until my will comes but in discipline your body is itching all of a sudden one irresponsible guy just appears from nowhere and says um, uh, you know how things are don't keep waiting like this and you stand and God is telling you the choice is yours do you know if you get up you know the man is smoking you know he's drinking he says I don't smoke all the time once in a while I say okay I can make do with that remember you are making a choice through indiscipline and God is watching but I'm supposed to deliver you I'm, I'm bringing you out I'm using you as a specimen and you say, God, I can't wait again, please. I can't wait. If, if by March or by, by August, this guy, whoever shows up, the devil said, what did you say? Fine. Whoever shows up. And he will just go and drag one funny guy. And just because the guy is in church and he wore a tie and, and talking with belt, does not mean that he's serious. And before you know it, through indiscipline. Are we together now? Through indiscipline, you now say, yes. I will marry you. Your father will say, I'm, I'm sensing that you are in danger. I said, Daddy, don't worry about me, please. Age is not on my side. And you marry and you find out that the same thing that happened to your elder sister has now happened. It was not the spirit. The spirit was casted. You paid the price to get a correct mindset. The information for your deliverance has been given. But the discipline of conformity was not there. Shout, I will wait. One of the hardest things for believers to do is to wait until the hand of God comes to assist you. This is not just in the issue of marriage. In the issue of job, God says, stay, I will direct you. The next thing you just hear that, okay, there's something somewhere. And you say, Kai, I don't, I'm ashamed. The last time I went for a wedding, I saw all my classmates. They were all in cars. And me, they were even asking, what are you doing? Pastor, you are still like this. And the next thing you jump. When, when the devil wants to destroy some people, he will make sure you get visa to US. Whereas your, the will of God for you is in Nigeria. And you smile your way to US out of the program of God. It takes discipline. It would never have been my desire to be in Zaria by this time. No. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I the staying 
power. Many are the devices in a man's heart. He said, but the counsel of the Lord, that alone shall stand. There is a way that seemeth right unto a man. It takes discipline to stay. God, do not let us go from here. We, we, we know what Egypt. Uh -uh. Do not let us go from here. If your presence will not go with us, we are not going. And I'm sure they remain there. And God said, these guys are serious. So. Please be careful. We have, we have lost respect for the discipline of waiting till God speaks. Gone are the days where people can beat their chest and say, I know God spoke. Today now people over intellectualize everything. And we keep crashing and making nonsense out of our destiny. You must cry for grace. Lord, if I would die here, let me die waiting for you. And God said, you are doing this for me. You can put your ego on the line for me. I will arise for you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Yeah. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you sensitive now I prayed for a very strong angelic manifestation tonight and the Lord told me that once I got to this topic just this experiencing complete deliverance there will be very mighty angelic activities John chapter 19 please let's hurry up from verse 28 to 32 or to 30 let's stop at 30 experiencing complete deliverance this is good news. That means it is possible that a man, Jesus himself, how many of you know that his words are powerful? Jesus said, no matter what happens, there is a potential in the kingdom that a man can be completely free. He that the son of man sets free is free indeed. Apostle, this is good news. You mean after 100 years of captivity in my family, there is a way out that there is a way out that I can say it is finished finally the chain of barrenness finally the chain of poverty finally that people don't rise in this family that there is a cause and a yoke that a time can come in a believer's life where like Jesus you say it is finished complete deliverance yes sir Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The cause can go. Yes, sir. The barrenness can go. The failure, the retrogression. I saw my father go down. I saw my mother go down. So there is a way out in Christ. Jesus, the son of the living God, said it is finished. He opened a new one, a living way. A pathway that a man can obtain complete deliverance. Not up to there and down tomorrow. Hallelujah. Be sensitive. Sit down. We are not, we are not praying yet. That's why we kept the oil here. Because the oil too is here in the sermon. I want to show you a mystery. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It is this revelation that makes deliverance a mystery from part one to three to four 
this is where we are coming to now listen and pay attention and let me tell you i want to show you how i was delivered get ready for my i want to show you what worked for me i am a testament of this i would never be where i am today until god himself revealed this by his spirit and i want to show you complete deliverance complete deliverance I, truly I came with my heart open I cried to God and I said Lord this, this thing has to go everybody shout it is finished shout it again it is finished this is Jesus speaking not angel Michael it is finished so he gave me access that it is possible oh look how healing this is Ejimi, did you know? Look, some of you here, as I'm talking now, you are just thinking of the mess in your background that you have been crying and say, Lord, it's just more deliverance I need. Hold on. Some of you here have counseled you. You come from backgrounds where your parents were priests directly. Not that they went to priests. Directly. There are territories here that were dedicated to all kinds of devilish idols. It is finished. I found this years ago. I told you about demons oppressing me. This simple scripture you see, when God shined it in my spirit, I was reading a book really. That's where it came from. But I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know, but this is what I'm seeing. And then God broke this thing down that I'm about to show you. Sit down. Sit down. Let's learn. We are going to pray. Experiencing complete deliverance. The first thing I want to talk about quickly and then I will show you the three ways. Is I want to teach you the legal system of the kingdom very quickly. The realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Please listen carefully. The, the realm of the spirit is a legal realm. Proverbs chapter 26 and verse 2. Mighty God. 26 and verse 2. Read with me. As a bird by wandering. And as the swallow by flying. Uh -huh, so the curse. Causeless. Underline causeless. Shall not come. Meaning if there is no cause for it. It should not have come. If you ever saw any limitation in your life, there is a system of authorization. Because there is a law in the spirit that when a thing does not have a reason to come, it does not come. So the barrenness, the failure, everything has a reason. A curse, causeless, cannot come. If it ever came, something authorized it. There is the legal system of the kingdom redemption as we know was done on legal grounds jesus did not just come the bible says the soul that sinned it shall die it's a law god himself had to submit to that law are we together it says without the shedding of blood there is no remission of sins so the son of god did not just become a man and came to the world no the bible says by one man sin entered so it could not take a spirit to save men it had to be a man jesus had to be a man i want you to see the legalities that the son of god went through are we together jesus had to be 30 years to start his ministry because in jewish custom if you were less than 30 you were not considered a man so it wasn't about his spiritual life he had to wait and go through it until he was 30. Jesus could just fall from the sky. Like Elijah, that people say, Elijah the Tishbite. But Jesus had to grow in a woman's womb. And was born and cried and could die and grew. From a young baby to a young child, teenager, adult and all of that. He passed through it. There is a legal system in the kingdom. Let me show you something. Isaiah 41, verse 20 and 21. The verse of emphasis is 21. Isaiah 41. 
that they may see and know and consider and understand together that the hand of the Lord has done this and the Holy One of Israel has created it. Read 21 for me. One, two, read. Aha. Uh -huh. This looks to me like a lawyer's language. This is the Lord speaking. Produce your cause. Bring the legal terms. Bring before me. So Abel said, I will produce my cause. And the blood went to heaven and said, God, have you not said whoever destroys man, whoever kills by the, lives by the sword shall die by the sword? I did not live by the sword and now somebody has slain me. My blood was cried and God came and said, Cain, your brother's blood is crying. And he said, am I my brother's keeper? I said, don't talk that nonsense. Blood is crying. The legal system of the kingdom. God, as kind as he is, is teaching us how to make him bless us. And he said, when you pray, ask me to give you this day our daily bread. Otherwise, you will never eat it. This is God. Son of man, say to these dry bones, I'm waiting for you. If you don't say it, it may never happen. I, the dry bones did not move at the word of God. It moved at the word of God through the mouth of a man. He says, say to this dry bone. The dry bone, ah, you are now talking. No. Bring forth your strong, how many reasons? Bring forth your strong reasons why you think you should be the first graduate in your family. Bring forth your strong reasons as to why you think that you should not fail in life. Look at me. You saw people went to school and the devil taught them like a lion. Bring forth your strong reason. Why you are the last born in your family and you believe that like Joseph, you are the one who will feed them. Bring forth your strong reason. I, when I saw this years ago, I said, my God, bring forth your strong reason. Don't just sit down and think it will happen. There is the legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. The legal system of the kingdom. So let me teach you three steps now. Number one. You want to experience complete deliverance. Your first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. And all the demonic powers over your life. Or your family. Or your church. Or your destiny. Whatever it is. The first assignment is to break the legal hold of Satan. Break the legal hold. A curse causeless shall not stand. Barrenness causeless shall not come. Failure causeless shall not come. Delay causeless shall not come. If it is there, something is authorizing it. Your first assignment is to break the legal ground. This is where, ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to the powerful mystery of the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, my precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. Listen. When you are about to face the gates of darkness as a final onslaught, there is no other weapon that you can carry. The first weapon for true victory is the mystery of the blood. The blood. The blood. The blood. Five scriptures very quickly. Matthew 26 verse 27 to 28. Matthew 26. Matthew 26, 27 to 28. And he took the cup and gave thanks. And he gave it to them saying, drink ye all of it. 28. For this is my blood of the New Testament. The blood is done, is what? Is shed for many. Why? For the remission. Remission. So a system has been initiated in the spirit. Remission. The word remission means to blot out. Hmm. 
Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 7. Ephesians 1 verse 7. Then we we'll look at Colossians 1 14. Read with me please. 1, 2, read. In whom we have redemption. How? So how does redemption happen? Please talk to me. Redemption. Redemption. Through the blood. The forgiveness of sins. It didn't say the forgiveness of your sins. It doesn't matter whether it's your sins. Our fathers have sinned. There is a system. I used to think he said forgiveness of your sin. No. There is a mystery of atonement. Notice for those of you who cast out demons. Sometimes you see those. They just shout and talk. I won't go. No, 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 no. The blood for the forgive whatever ill to sin means to miss the mark. Whatever happened around my life, whatever happened around my lineage that authorized darkness, there is a system of atonement according to the riches of his grace. 1 verse 14, Colossians. Colossians 1 verse 14. Once again, in whom we have redemption through his blood even the what i hope you know there is a law in the spirit that when you see the travail in the soul of your offender your heart will be appeased look at this come Sheol. if Sheol steals my handkerchief and they catch him my satisfaction is in his punishment is that true as they punish him I now feel appeased. If they don't punish him, I feel bad. So the Bible says he shall see the travail of his soul. Who is the he? Not Jesus. Man in Christ. Because it was at the point of exchange. We offended the father. And according to this law, there is a requisite level of punishment that must appease the heart of the offender. And Jesus said, instead of you and your father, let me stand in for you. So while they beat him and blood came out, the father watched, took his face away. And then the Bible tells us that he was seeing the travail. That means the yoke and the ordinances that they did. Remember, they murdered missionaries in your village. And ordinarily, until these things happen and they kill everybody based on that, because their blood cries. But then, God in heaven will see those who offended the grandfathers that made the cause to come upon the family in Christ. The travail. And the father says, that's enough. I set you free. It is finished. Redemption through his blood. Even, so there is a kind of redemption called the forgiveness of sins. That your wrongs, your sins... If sins are forgiven, then the consequences they bring are also forgiven. And the authorizations they give is also forgiven. Are we together? Revelation chapter 5. Just follow me closely. Jesus grant us grace tonight. We have to be fast. Revelation 5, 9 and 10. Quickly please. Revelation 5, 9 and 10. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book. And open the seals thereof. Uh -huh. For thou was slain. And has redeemed us unto God. How? By your blood. Out of every kindred. And every tongue. And every. And every. These are the four realms where causes exist. Look at this. Please go back to verse 9. Out of every kindred, every tongue, every people, every nation, everything was covered. We were redeemed by his blood. I hope you know that God ensured that Satan participated in the death of Jesus. That was the only way that the blood of Jesus could haunt him. When Cain killed Abel. Who did Abel's blood hunt? So whoever killed Jesus is the person who the blood of Jesus should hunt. 
had they known this they would not have crucified who are the day satan alongside the principalities and powers satan god made sure in his wisdom that they all participated in the death of the son of the living god and then verse 10 he says he has made us a kingdom of priests unto our god that we reign on earth the last scripture revelation chapter 12 and verse 10 to 11 popular scripture And I heard a loud voice in heaven saying, Now is come salvation and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ for the accuser of the, not the hidden, the accuser of the brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. Next verse. And they, he had been cast down, but to appropriate the benefit of what has happened, they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him. They overcame him by the blood of the lamb. Listen, listen. The moment the mercy of God steps in, I've told you this. The moment the mercy of God steps in over an issue, my brother, my sister, listen to me. You know that card they call end of discussion. It truly is end of discussion in the spirit. The moment the blood factor comes in, notice that when the blood was put on the lintel of the people, it had nothing to do with their personal belief in God's deliverance. The moment the angel of death saw blood, even if it was Pharaoh, if Pharaoh's son entered one of those rooms where there was blood, he wouldn't have died. Even if he was cursing God from the room. The same stiff-necked people that cursed God later on were in that room. But because there was a covering of the blood, so every time we engage the blood many believers don't know how to engage the blood to engage the blood is not just to shout i plead the blood i plead the blood i plead the blood alone are we together it looks like it's drizzling or rain or so please if it is just let the people find a way of stationing them around we're, we're about to pray so we'll find a way of making it happen are we together now everybody say the blood so the first mystery that brings deliverance is the blood. When I had this revelation, I began to pray. And let me tell you, that was when I found the mystery of Psalm 51. They gave you that scripture. Psalm 51 was something that I forgot about that scripture many years. It was this year that God reminded me again. Psalm 51. Please give it to us. Our time is gone. Let's see how we can do justice have mercy upon me oh god according to thy loving kindness according to the multitude of thy tender mercies blot out my transgression too let's just run it wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin three for i acknowledge my transgression and my sin is ever before me four against thee thee only have i sinned and done this evil in thy sight. Listen, let me tell you. You can carry your family and in covenant. Stand as you make. This is not just about one man. It can be one business. It can be one family. It can be one church. Many believers will not believe this. That thou mightest be justified when thou speakest. And be clear when, when thou judgest. Verse 5. You can read it down, down, down. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity. And in sin did my mother conceive me. And you read this scripture and cry the mercy of God. Listen to me. Nineveh was a land that was so depraved. When God sent Jonah, Jonah said, God, I'm not going. He said, I know you. I know you. I want to allow this thing to remain so that you will be angry and curse these people. I know that if I talk to them, you are merciful. They will now repent and you will act as if they didn't do anything that warranted punishment. And he ran away. He ran away for a justifiable reason. 
There was something about God that he knew. The Lord is gracious and compassionate. The Bible says he is slow to anger. So if my father or my mother went to sacrifice a baby and drain the blood to send me to school, and now there is a spirit that stands on legal ground, I can stand before God and knock on the door of mercy and say, Lord, I know that the soul that sins, it shall die. But do men die twice? Is it not appointed one for man to die? And after that, the judgment. And Lord, your son has died. And what judgment? No one condemns you if you are in Christ. And you stand on that legal ground. And God says, done. Done. It may have been 30 years, but done. Lord, I went to a herbalist myself because I was looking for a wife or husband. Lord, I went by myself. I wanted to pass exams. I went to Zaria City. I went and did this and that. Lord, I know that I did all of this. And you stand before him. And then the blood speaks. Every time the father sees the blood, Satan sees judgment. Every time you point the blood. To plead the blood does not mean to coerce it like a charm. To plead the blood means to bring to remembrance. It's not just saying, I plead the blood. To plead the blood is a revelation. Bring to the Father's remembrance the substitutionary work of Christ. And that the blood, the sinless blood of his eternal son that was given in exchange for my deliverance. Mm. That's the first thing I did. And that's the first thing anyone must do. If all you keep doing is in the name of Jesus, I'm free, you're in trouble. Pleading the blood entails a broken and a contrite heart. You see, let me tell you, there is a level of repentance that brings the hand of God to a man. It's not this arrogant, I plead the blood, Lord, just get up and break 250 years yoke of killing people in my, in my village in the name of Jesus. After all, you died. No. A broken, there is an attitude that makes the blood effectual. Are we together? The fact that the Bible says we should come boldly does not mean it says we should come arrogantly. Lord, I stand before you and I know that on my own I will never be able to make it. I watch my mother cheat people. I watch my father cheat people. I watch my siblings cheat people. Somebody lost a job because of his wickedness. It is true that as a family we deserve this. But Lord, I stand on behalf of my family. If my people, which are called by my name, although they are called by my name, it is not automatic. They must humble themselves and pray. And seek my face and turn from their evil ways. Then will I hear from heaven and I will forgive their sins and heal their land. And I said, Lord, it's a deal. And I cried. I would never forget that night. Lord, let your grace and your mercy speak for me. My grandfather served you until he died. Even on his deathbed, he died for Jesus. In your anger, remember mercy. Lord, if you leave me the way I am, I will never make it in life. Lord, can the dead praise you? Let me show you how people touch the heart of God. Lord, if you take my life now and you allow witchcraft kill me, like it killed everybody in my family, can the dead praise you? Lord, if I give birth to children out of witchcraft, you are presenting your strong reasons. Lord, is it not you that has said you are a merciful God? I stand before you without argument. And God arises from heaven. Many believers do not know how to touch the mercy of God. It was the psalmist that would write everything he did on behalf of Israel. And say they should make a poem out of it. Let us with a glad soul mind praise the Lord. He said for his mercy is endure. He's ever faithful. He's ever sure. He will even say Sila. Think about it. I didn't go to God with a bold face as a man of God. To say, God, let me tell you something. My grandfather was a pastor. I love you. I, I, I don't drink beer. I stand before you in my self-righteousness. Is that pride that kill people. Someone must go down on his knees and say, Lord, 
a cause causeless shall not stand there is a reason why we are failing in this family there is a reason why doors are not opening in this family and lord i stand before you who else will i run to oh god will you let men see be like the saints of old they knew how to talk to god lord will the living will the dead praise you if you pay me if you do this do you want them to say you brought people out of egypt but could not take them to the promised land and the bible will say god repented have you heard that he said come let us reason together that tonight someone can say god will the unrighteous and the righteous receive the same reward what then is the value of your blood and you would think you are joking and god is listening to you lord is it a crime that i came from the north must i fail the failure is it a crime that i'm an evil man must i fail that failure is it a crime i came from a muslim background now i'm born again it is true that i went to all kinds of alpha and the rest but lord will i receive the recompense of sinners bring before him your strong reason and cry for his mercy I did that you appropriate the mercy of God in your life number two in complete deliverance you cannot downplay the power of words write it down the power of words your words are a vital tool in establishing the victory of Christ over your life and situation Matthew chapter 22 and verse 37 please let's hurry up i already sense fire burning in this place we'll do this thing very fast and we'll pray mm. matthew chapter 12 verse 37 jesus said unto him matthew 20 ch chapter 12 12 verse 37 matthew 12 verse 37 for by thy words thou shalt be justified i will tell you what words it's not any words and by thy words thou shalt be condemned you know what the words are let the redeemed of the lord do what let those who have become benefactors of his blood make that announcement in the realm of the spirit that satan you heard my conversation with the king of glory and it is unto him i have sinned and he has decided to show me mercy therefore i decree and declare that in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that i'm free from all of these chains the bible says declare ye. it looks simple we make declarations without appropriating the blood and the mercy of god when it has to do with deliverance the blood opens the door and then your words you sound that word to principalities and powers words there's a reason why there was an echo it is finished jesus didn't have to say it he said it for a reason and the curtain of the temple was torn from top to bottom there is a new and living way that we can step in i remember the lord asking me to speak and say son begin to speak and denounce yourself from every walk of darkness and i began to pray i've obtained mercy i blot myself out every handwriting and every ordinance that spoke against me in the name of the lord jesus i obtained forgiveness i've been called out of every tongue i thought it was a joke until my life began to change in a remarkable way words are powerful for with the heart you believe and if you believe the blood speaks for you then with the mouth confession will be made you don't keep quiet the redeemed of the lord speak the righteousness that is of faith speaks and then number three complete deliverance the ministry of the anointing yes sir yes sir the anointing Luke chapter 4, 17 to 21. Let's look at how Jesus announced 
his deliverance ministry, the messianic prophecy. And there was delivered to him the book of prophet Isaiah. And when he opened the book, he found the place where it was written, 18. Please, let's hurry up. The spirit of the Lord, he's about to deliver now. And he's showing us. So before anything, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he had helped me, anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He had sent me to preach the, the to heal the brokenhearted. He had anointed me to preach deliverance to the captives. He has anointed me to recover sight to the blind. He had anointed me to set at liberty them that are bruised. 19. He had anointed me to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. 20. We are reading to 21. And he closed the book. And he gave it again to the minister and sat down. And the eyes of all that were in the synagogue were fastened on him, 21. And he began to say unto them, this day. When? Talk to me. This day. Say this day. That means from today. Don't be surprised when you see people free. It's what he was telling them. He said, I just read it. Meaning if you see demons flying, it's because an anointing is upon me. And today, that ministry starts. This is what Jesus was telling them. He opened the book and showed them. He said, I'm showing you from the book. So you are not surprised when you see a woman bound for 18 years, all of a sudden free. This day, I have come as a fulfillment of that scripture. Today, somebody's this day. Because the book has been opened. It is this day. The day the book is opened, that's your this day. The spirit of the Lord. Because he had anointed me. Anointed me. Isaiah 10, 27. Isaiah 10, 27. This day. This day. This day. And it shall come to pass. When? Notice that everything happens in a day. It shall come to pass in that day. What day? The day your faith chooses. That day, the Bible says, if you, if you hear his voice this day, there remaineth a rest for the people of God. That his burden shall be taken away. Somebody will come and carry it away. That means it never will belong to you again. Notice two things that will be taken. A burden and a yoke. And the Bible says, and his yoke from off thy neck. It says, and the yoke. Mashana katos kabarakatos. The yoke shall be destroyed. Not because you are tired of it. Because of the anointing. There is an exact anointing that breaks yoke. It didn't say because of an anointing. There is a particular anointing. Now, let me tell you this. Not every anointed man can deliver you. This is what I want you to get. There is the anointing. An exact kind of anointing. Just because a man of God prayed for you. I'm telling you this, believe me. There is an anointing specifically ordained by God. The same way there is an anointing that prospers. The same way there is an anointing that heals. There is a dimension of the anointing that is allocated for detonating yokes. Like a bomb that is supposed to scatter somebody that was put by a wicked man somewhere and you come and do something to it and then it becomes like toy. Like a piece of paper. How do you know you are delivered? Strange results. Instant results. Instant open doors. Let me tell you. Deliverance is one of the things that happen instantly. My life changed like day and night. If I did ministry without this encounter, I would have been in for a rude shock. I found it that there was a burden on my neck 
there was a yoke a burden on my shoulder and a yoke from my neck I remember going to my village and passing around and seeing well-meaning people poor people I saw how hard-working my father was very honest man one of the most honest people I know in my life yet doors refused to open this man will rise up like this and crash as if God does not exist they were the ones who trained us in the way of the Lord I never saw my father carry one bottle of alcohol not once my mother served God she was so innocent she didn't know anything about witchcraft it was Nigerian film that made my mother know that there was something like witchcraft she was that innocent yet nothing changed but when I engaged the blood and I made decrees and this anointing fell from heaven are we together now you see why I said they should keep these bottles here it's not just because of a ritual let me tell you except God did not send me when this oil touches your head many of you will step into instant visions instant visions listen you will you will see things all of a sudden you will start seeing things that had happened before and God will tell you this is where it started the same way you go to bed hold it for me remember while you were doing your prayers some of you kept seeing yourself you were seeing where your problem started from. Secondary school, going back, seeing a lot of things. Look at the attack that happened. Some of you, all through while you prayed, you never saw anything good. Night after night, because Satan is a master of the flesh realm. I told you to just continue and don't mind him. The yoke shall be destroyed. I remember that anointing oil when I bought it that night. I left it open in the presence of God. I played Benny Hinn worship from night, from, from morning till night. Soaking everything through my rechargeable. And when I did that thing, I was shaking like a leaf. I knew. There was like a physical mist in my room. And all of a sudden, I carried that oil. When that oil touched my head, that was it. I didn't even know where I was again. Alone in that room. I woke up many hours with strange visions. From that encounter, the revelations of ministry, I started writing like a madman. All of a sudden, doors. See, let me tell you. Do you know that everything that you have prayed for was answered but hijacked? By the time this door is open, it's an avalanche. Things would look let me tell you the truth i'm not joking you will see people within a short time a lady that nobody has a business of saying i want to marry you the bible says that how many people will come to you i know it was speaking about men but all of a sudden a brother that was ordained to be your husband but this wicked spirits will blind and make sure that they don't see you by the time this yoke is taken that brother goes to bed this night and God says, what are you waiting for? Your wife has been before you for 10 years. The helper of your destiny standing and watching you like this. But there had been a decree, never help him. And you find out, you will bring a friend, two of you will come to plead for assistance. They will help the friend and leave you. There are some of you here with the kind of anointing God gave you, you should never be small. But you are even wondering why. I never call for people to come and they come. Something drives them. It was Bishop Oyedeko who was saying when Living Faith Church started, as anointed as he was and he is, their heavens were closed and they were fasting and praying. And the Spirit of the Lord told him, come out. 
and he came out and he looked and according to him he said he saw something that looked like a dark a thick layer of dark cloud and the lord told him this is the blindfolding layer that the devil put in the eyes of people to misrepresent what you are doing and then he told him to command it and he declared that a light shines in darkness and the darkness cannot comprehend it and he said that the, the thing just folded like that and he produced a poster with testimonies and wrote come and see that was it living faith took another dimension till tomorrow when i caught this revelation that was when i saw that publicity was spiritual at the point i said it people thought it was a joke i don't mean to brag i'm not saying posters are wrong you go around this city you are not going to find one poster but we will shift a meeting just by a simple announcement shift it and people will come you try that and tell people shift it, and people say ah that's it i found a reason there is an anointing when the yoke breaker comes and sits and his weight rests upon your life i'm telling you anything that is not him must give way are you ready to pray now rise up on your feet oh oh Jesus please pray in the name of Jesus I declare that tonight is my night I declare that everything that Jesus Christ did for me on the cross it must be appropriated in my life tonight therefore I declare that every yoke, every spell, every curse, every ordinance speaking against me and against my loved ones, tonight I command that you are leaving me. Open your mouth and pray. Please pray. 
please take it serious. Wherever you are, just pray, pray. Sabaratoka shanamanabakata. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I stand on behalf of myself and my family and I declare that everything that the devil has taken away from us we command that it must return tonight lift your voice and pray everything Come on, believers, pray. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. You spirit. Behind the tragedies in my life. Say every spirit behind the failures in my life, behind the delay in my life, behind every retrogression, behind every closed door, hear ye the word of the Lord. Tonight, your legal hold is broken by the blood of Jesus. Lift your voice and pray. The spirit behind the circles of failure the spirit behind the circles of defeat Hallelujah. 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 Now listen to me. Please let me plead with you. I know that you can see that it's past nine. Please. I know today's service may take a few minutes, but I'm pleading with you for the sake of your destiny. Just be patient with me and let's address this thing this night. Are we together? Please don't let the devil. Many of you will find out right now that you are having the urge to just go. It's a spirit. It's because the spirits are about to be challenged. You may come with someone now as I'm talking. He wants to ease himself. He wants to cough. It's a lie. It's a spirit. I'm about to challenge something now. Hallelujah. Now, listen. This is what will happen. I'm going to pray on this oil. Please listen to the instruction, everyone. Those online, just get a bottle of oil so that while I'm praying, you can connect. If you are with your family members, get a bottle of oil. Even if they are sleeping, just touch their head. Please make sure everybody is touched by this oil. Are we together? If you have faith and you think you will not be embarrassed, you can even, the little oil that is in your hand, you can just place it on your stomach. Ladies, prophetically, you are touching your children unborn to say, no devil, no devil. John was filled with the Holy Ghost from his mother's womb. Are we together? Praise the Lord. By the time, by the time this oil, we are going to be fast. Now, because of the way it is, um, we are going to station, I believe, are there tables around outside? Or if there are not tables, at least there are, there, are, there are people who will stand. Now, this is what you will do. Please, we are going to coordinate. It's going to be very fast. There might be people falling under the anointing. We'll just help them. Please manage, help the usher so we don't injure anybody. Now, what I want you to do for me, please, just obey instructions. By the time we bless this oil, just a little of it, touch it on your head. If you have a little one, 
you can touch it on their head and then go back to your seat and start blasting in tongues till you are done don't pray anything in understanding are we together just go back to your seat under the anointing or not just find somewhere and pray in the spirit and by the time I'm done, I'm going to lead us into some serious spiritual prayers and speak over our lives. And then you will go to bed and let's watch the God of heaven surprise you. Are we together? Please, anything that can spoil, carry it out of the way. Please, let's be fast. Father, in the name of Jesus, you anointed me. And Lord, it is time for your people to rise. This is ordinary oil. But in the name that is above all names, the Lord is asking me to put my hands in all the oils. In the name of Jesus Christ, I put my hands prophetically upon every one of this oil. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, let it be an extension of the grace that comes with this office. In the name of Jesus Christ, I place my hand upon this oil. Father, we have had many anointing services in this place. But in the name that is above all names, I command this anointing oil to carry the yoke-breaking anointing. Let it carry the anointing for strange and total deliverance. Whoever must die as a result of this prayer, as this oil comes upon your head except God did not send me a sword of judgment will search for them and bring them to the grave if there is any physical agent that has held your destiny and said for as long as I'm alive you will not move people of God I stand before you and I tell you by the message of the grace that I've received God will not only take away that destiny their life will pay for it in the name of Jesus Christ please cover them strategically father in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare right now by the power of the Holy Spirit everyone under the sound of my voice Lord as they come under the influence of this oil I decree and declare that let the fire from heaven not only fall upon their life but turn every situation that must be changed around in the name of Jesus for those online I pray for the various oils you are carrying in the name of Jesus as you anoint yourself and your loved ones let the embargo of darkness no matter how long it has been let it break now and forever in the name of jesus christ god bless you please let's have people let's have them come quickly quickly you can start coming um just coordinate them i, I honestly don't know how we're going to do it but we'll have to find a way yes you can find a way of even if it's for you to come and we can start from here and then you come and go or do whatever it is please very very quickly Make sure you are praying in the spirit. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now listen. Listen. I want you to pair yourselves into two. Very quickly. Just find someone. Find a neighbor somewhere. In the next. Our time is gone. But in the next three minutes. All I want you to do holding the hands of that person is to just blast in the spirit. Just pray in the spirit. Go ahead and pray. Just go ahead and pray. Shabata katabara katoka shadabala balaba. Tonight is your night. 
Rana Bakota, Reketed in the Bakota, in Pretesta, in Reketeta, Rana Bakota, Rana Bakota, Jesus, lay your hands on your head. Fire is burning in this place. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare in this season, may the glory of the Lord that is upon my head begin to speak now. Open your mouth and pray. Thou, O Lord, are a shield you are my glory you are the lifter the lifter a man's head can be lifted shekete kato parakatos shabaratoka sadabekata I declare the glory of the Lord upon my head be lifted Hallelujah. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Say in the name of Jesus. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny. Say it again. Every chain holding my life, tying my destiny by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be broken now. Lift your voice and pray. Every chain. Every chain. Every chain. Alakato Shabakata. Rakata Sate Kato Sekete. Rekete Kete Nekete Kete Bosh. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I declare and I decree. I speak to the forces of creation. Hear my voice. Align yourself and cause the word of God to walk in my life. Lift your voice and pray. We speak to the elements of creation and the stars fought for the border and the stars fought for the border and the sun and the moon fought for Joshua and the earth fought for the woman we command the elements of creation align yourself In the name of Jesus, oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. Say it again, oh, earth, you are the seat of abundance. It is out of you that trees grow, 
Therefore I declare, according to the law of seed time and harvest, let my harvest locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray. Sabadagatos, ketabrakatoseketa. Let the people praise thee, O God. Let the people praise thee. Then shall the earth yield her increase. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards me. He said, I am the Lord thy God that teacheth thee to profit and leadeth thee in the way that you should go. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Stretch your hands. In the name of Jesus, I declare that these hands that are stretched towards me right now become the hands of fire. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please put your hand on your belly. Just put that hand there. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Put your hands there. The Bible says, For out of your belly shall flow rivers. Say in the name of Jesus. Every treasure within me, as I lay my hands, I declare, come out now. Lift your voice and pray. Every treasure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to round up. Don't mind all the prophetic acts you are doing. I want you to just trust my leadership in helping you get results. Are we together? Are we together? I'd like you to stand where you are and say in the name of Jesus, I prophesy to the north. Say it, I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. Everywhere my help has been ordained to come from. In the name of Jesus, I call you. Locate me now. Lift your voice and pray. It comes from God, but it passes through men. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Send help, oh God. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Just place your hand again on your head. Now, you are finished praying. Let me pray now. Any spirit that comes with ancestry, any spirit, hear my voice. You are a product of ancestry sent and programmed for the, from the fathers to oppress the people of God right now by fire I declare by fire I declare by fire release their glory now I declare by fire Shobakatos Katarikato Embre Teka Sobakatadiakata every legal ground I break it now in the name of Jesus Christ
the spirits of delay that sit upon people's destinies so they don't move forward right now in the name of Jesus may the power of the Holy Ghost through this oil you have made contact with command those devils to live now the spirits of barrenness not just biological barrenness that makes that nothing works in your life you study you go and write exams you fail you get money you do business you fail you get a job they fire you in the name of jesus i command by the power of the holy spirit may that devil live your life now and forever ladies i'm praying for you now there is a spirit that draws only married men or wicked ungodly men to certain sisters they don't know why no responsible person comes to you right now in the name of jesus if there is anyone under the sound of my voice who is in this category i command that devil come out of them now come out of them now come out of them now any spirit husband any spirit wife any demonic entity manipulating you in the night coming to oppress you in the name of jesus i declare now be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus be released in the name of jesus there's anyone here i say it again you always have dreams seeing yourself in your former house seeing yourself in your secondary school seeing yourself repeating something you have already done right now i shift you speed to your life i cause the spirit of delay speed to your life i cause the spirit of delay speed to your life I'm praying for people here every year or every two two years or every three three years the same pattern repeats in your family either someone dies or someone loses their job or something happens right now the yoke that creates patterns I stand in the name of Jesus and I break it from your life I break it from your life by the blood of Jesus I break it from your life the moment something good is about to enter your hand you go to bed and you have a dream something strange happens and you lose that thing it must find a way of leaving you I pray for you now in the name of Jesus everything that makes sure that you see things but never handle them I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now I cast that spirit from your life now hallelujah I want to pray for you now whatever pattern you saw in your parents and you are seeing it now in your life it could be poverty it could be hardship it could be failure Jesus declared that it is finished by the blood of the eternal covenant he declared that it is finished therefore I stand right now I separate you from any pattern in your life that is tied to your lineage in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah I pray for students the moment you enter the exam hall something happens to you 
that you cannot explain. I pray for you. May the fire of the Spirit separate you from failure forever. Separate you from failure forever. Separate you from failure forever. Be patient with me. You will thank me for this prayer I'm praying. This is what I did for myself. We're rounding up. Listen. There are people here. It's not delay that you face. But what can be done in two weeks? It will take you almost one year. So it's like you are crawling to achieve things in life. Right now in the name of Jesus. The spirit responsible for that wickedness. I command it to live your life now. Hallelujah. There are people here. You have never had one month in good health. It's a pattern you saw. You can treat malaria non-stop for three years. You can treat headache non-stop for four years. You can treat all kinds of infirmity. That one is no longer sickness. Pay attention, I'm praying for you. It's a pattern. You saw your father live on drugs forever. Your mother live on drugs forever. Now it's happening to you. Shakos kabata Right now in the name of Jesus. May the power of God set you free from that pattern now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, I want to pray. Please, just be patient with me. There are many other things we would not do. Once I'm done, my conscience, I won't be able to sleep tonight if I don't finish what I'm doing to you. Now, whether you believe in the prayer, put, put down your hands. Whether you believe in the prayer I'm about to pray or not, just be patient with me. Are we together? This is an intense deliverance session. Just pay attention. As you grow in the spirit, I pray that one day you will understand. There's no time to explain everything to you. But I want you to just listen to me and watch what the Holy Spirit does. There are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. These are the same three elements of covenants. The spirit, the water, and the blood. I'm praying now. If there is anyone connected by witchcraft, spirit entities, dedicated to your life, and you were attached with them, knowingly or unknowingly, He's called the father of spirits. Therefore, I decree and declare every spirit connected to you. Lose them right now and let them go. Lose them right now and let them go. I'm still praying for you. Listen to my prayer. The water is a very strange mystery. Every water on earth is older than every man. It's the same water the saints drank that we still drink. There is no water that comes from anywhere. It's a cycle that repeats itself. And the Bible says this thing you see is a witness. It's a witness. Therefore, I declare in the name of Jesus, there are spirits that operate in this domain. And let me tell you something. Truth be told, this is only false when it is relative to the power of God. The strongest operation in the demonic kingdom are marine spirits. Listen to me very carefully. Many ignorant people have no idea what I'm saying. 
80 percent eight out of every 10 people are tied by this mystery of the spirits that operate in water when the spirits that were casted out of the man in gadara left they were they drove the swine right into water in the name of jesus i pray just lift your hands and be silent and let me pray especially for those of you that live around river Rhine areas after today don't worry you can believe anything you want to believe but right now i stand shakoto sataka rekete katoshabariata i declare every marine power holding down anyone's destiny in the name that is above all names in this night of deliverance by the fire of the holy spirit let them go now any dedications that have to do with marine powers i release you from it now 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 strong spirits they can tie a man's life tie a man's destiny forever they can keep a woman barren for eternity are we together we're rounding up If there is anyone here who has been dedicated to any idol, you know that you saw things happen in your family. They brought one man or woman of God somewhere or one herbalist and tied your destiny to objects, made incisions in your body, gave you things to eat and drink in the name of protection. Leketos kapra kato gate me kato la hasiata rakatos kebata. I command that covenant and I declare that it is null and void in the name of Jesus. It is null and void in the name of Jesus. It is null and void in the name of Jesus. We wait on you, Lord. We wait on you. I wait. I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you, I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. That's what I've done with my life. That's what we've done with Koinonia. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your presence. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. To open up my destiny. You are the only one who can open up my destiny. me at whatever level you are just walk with him you may have no iota of unction right now forget about anointing be foolish enough to hold him let him lead you let others go just walk with him you may be behind but brothers and sisters there is an unction he will put something upon your life that will shake the nations and take away the boastings of men God is never too slow with men never too slow if he's the one that kept you know you are faster faster than anything you can imagine faster 
there are many arrogant pastors claiming that they want to do ministry but they ignore him they like human connection but they leave him alone I will never forget years ago the spirit of God will keep me and said son never try to rush anything just walk with me just walk with me like he's telling someone now don't rush your life I know you think everybody has gone ahead of you don't rush that marriage don't rush that thing walk with him one day with him will cover 10 years of mistakes walk with him apostle I have no job just walk with him just walk with him if you were working five years ago all your salary put together would not be more than six million walk with him Aish. the Holy Spirit fortunately from next week I'm starting a series the Lord has allowed me to take a series we're taking a series on the Holy Spirit a complete I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people the Holy Spirit you ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent I went to Harvard you ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child Hi. will I ever be able to leave him I know you are looking at me it's because I'm the, I'm the part of the deal that is visible but behind me I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see. I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. There is one who is mighty. Mighty. There is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see. If it is the Lord's doing, remember, then it must be marvelous. If it's a man's doing, then it is natural, scientific. But the moment it becomes marvelous, it is the Lord's doing. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hey. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. value is defined by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy for walking with me I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to walk with me then I give you an unction they may criticize you but you don't deny proofs brothers and sisters no sir I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. But one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. 
how do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth just like that how do you look at someone who is dead and bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have ridden you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth I told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of God you don't just honor a body you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace has separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, I, I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah Holy Spirit it's grace and glory I trust that God will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the Holy Spirit hallelujah yes the Holy Spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people seven people seven people shalabran miskala shabras kele prahas call your people oh god it's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy the sister outside for he will be real to you real to you by his spirit this is not an issue of jamboree it's not an issue of feeling anointed it's walking with a person it will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you walk with you so you become an effulgence of that grace then you can say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled thank you oh my father for giving me your son and leaving your spirit in your work in my life is done I thank you oh my father for giving me your son and leaving your spirit your word 
خانه Listen up, if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. Ah, I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lady. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful towards me will always provide for me. Praise the Lord. allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle. It's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. 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 He's raising you. Raising you by his spirit. Raising you. There is an unction that makes this possible. Raising you by his spirit. I hope I'll be able to finish this. The mysteries of the kingdom. That's the third thing that you must seek to know. Not just the word of God not just Rema the mysteries there is a lady in overflow three one is here two is the one by the road three is the one by the empty land there is a lady overflow three the anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her please I want I want her to come overflow three I'm seeing like an arrow right from this building right down there Please sit down. Let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk. There are so many people. You must access the mysteries of the kingdom. Everybody say mysteries. A mystery is a secret code of operation. The kingdom of God operates based on systems. And you see, these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power. I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power. The first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles. The second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship. Two dimensions of God's power. So you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension. The moment a principle is consistent with the character of God, it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship 
all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by God's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration you know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom but what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility because the bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back but do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible are we together do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy yes you know that divine healing is a possibility but what controls it laying on of hands no no laying on of hands is just a channel the inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that are we together now you have to understand the power of god is released through light remember the scripture habakkuk there was the hiding place of his power are we together when you understand that you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them it doesn't even have to be a miracle service the very understanding you have will respond to a man's need the same way if i stand with you and i have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if i have tuberculosis and you stand near me must i believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now i'm standing close to you it vetoes whether i agree with you i can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if i can transfer sickness why can i not transfer health are you seeing that now that means i can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you life being the light of men you see that that's the concept of whatsoever is born of god not whosoever whatsoever is born of god can overcome not by jacking yourself and understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting god all kinds of impossible situations they've told you it cannot be solved they are right based on their understanding this is a doctor they are not wrong based on their understanding but god's god's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities you see he says with god with god watch this i've taught you alone it is impossible but with god with god alone i cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with god all things all things all things are possible i want you to look at the situation we came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the lord god of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs nigeria not the power that governs un the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know god number two that's redemption and everything that concerns god in the person of jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the holy spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery i believe that has been known by very few 
and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people the body of Christ many people say the body of Christ is not just a church there are people the body of Christ is not people the body of Christ is a strategy the only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called Ecclesia the body of Christ the body of Christ is not a people it's a strategy that's why he said I will build it I will build it he didn't say I will make it I will build it like a formula like a plan and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it there is a formation that the body of Christ is built it is so formidable the gate of hell can only touch members not the body the body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell are we together never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God first Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is say for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of Christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body So when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems remember the teaching yes a system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization it's called a system so in every dispensation there is a way and manner God wants to be known and the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is 
Abraham represents the system of the blessing. The journey of a believer's blessing starts from here. System. Are we together now? Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival. Elijah is not a man. Elijah is a system. I've taught you this. The first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah. Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord. The moment there is a visitation upon a people, Elijah must come. That's why Elijah is still alive. God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival, for the move of God, is called Elijah. It's a system. The man Elijah died, he's simply a man named after the system. The system continues. The Antichrist is a system, not just a person. You see that? Peter, a system that represents faith. Systems. On earth today, there are men who are not just human beings, but systems. When you trace the ministry of the Holy Spirit, it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth. Today, right now, it will end with Benny Hinn. You see that? Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle. He's a system. He represents that possibility. No one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body. This is called the mystery of discerning the body. Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity. Start from any point in the world. You will start moving from mantle to mantle, grace to grace, and it will land back in him. There are many systems like that. You will never get this through prayer and fasting. No matter how you pray, God will lead you to those people. He will give you encounters, but he will lead you. There is a system I have provided. It is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities. How much of the body do you know? Imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body. Discerning the body is different from destiny helpers. Destiny helpers are not systems. Destiny helpers, they may not even be born again. They are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny. There are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial. He says, even among the stars, one different from another in glory, not in shape, in glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you had discernment for the body, you probably would have been healed since. If you had discernment for the body, you probably would have been blessed since. Many people want to be rich, but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility. There is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility. Because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality, you authorize that door to close. It only opens to honor. Not even seeds. Honor. If your seed sowing is a communication of that honor, then it opens. Are you seeing that now? I can't criticize Papa Ia Deboe and Bishop Oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes. It's impossible. Carry posters everywhere. It will not happen. There is a system. This is not publicity. It's a spiritual reality. So in honor of what they represent, I am authorized to access that reality. That's why you are here tonight. Let me tell you something. Listen carefully. You see this thing you call koinonia? Koinonia is not a ministry. Koinonia is a system. You have to believe this. It's a system. It's not a movement. It's not a fellowship. It's not a group. It's a system. It's a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of God. I, I want you to be very hopeful. So that when you come, you don't have to be afraid. There is something about the atmosphere. So no matter how far you are, you have come to Mount Zion. Certain things happen. This is not just some human bragging, a man of God trying to shine his ministry. No. Tonight, 
you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God please listen to me you are standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you are about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Give me a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Two, two. Let it end every captivity. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it break every burden in my life. Hallelujah. Keep standing, everyone. I want to make an altar call quickly. Right now, everyone stand. There are people here, overflow one, two, three, following us online in this place right now. The Bible says this life is in his son. You don't hear about the son and receive life, you meet the son. There are people standing here, men and women scattered around. You are a pastor, leader, deacon, gentleman, lady, old, young, rich, poor, regardless of your status. Jesus said, ye must be born again. There are people here who have not met Jesus. We have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this place. You are here inside and outside. You have heard what I said. And whilst I was speaking, the Spirit of God, the one we so honor, was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happened somewhere around your life 
and you are here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it I want you to come the first sets of people can come out when they come and here is full then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows just close to your projector but I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain right now one quickly quickly run to Jesus from the depth of your heart you can keep standing you don't have to lie down or kneel down God bless you you don't have to kneel down madam you can stand quickly two don't think about it run to Jesus and this life is in his son and this life is in his son and this life is in his son man of God I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not join them quickly join them quickly I remember coming out for altar call one day but right now I'm not sure no if you are not sure you have to come out when a woman is pregnant she knows you are not sure join them something is wrong with what happened to you three are you coming apostle I'm trying to come out but my neighbor is stopping me we rebuke that spirit trying to stop you come out come to Jesus Jesus said if you are ashamed of me before men I will be ashamed of you before my father let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you I think we have enough people inside now every other person that comes just direct them to their various overflows outside those coming from outside you can wait there now in every moment I'm away Lord have your way Lord have your way hallelujah madam look at me you you love Jesus Christ come I'm seeing you you are not working well what's wrong with you What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now told me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and ulcer. My back pain here from the back here down to my leg. Everything. Everything. Yes. I'm feeling the pain very well. That is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here. So that is why I came here. Mommy, look at me. Every one of them. You heard what I said? Everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to Abuja. Amen. Amen. You believe that? Yes. Of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, Thy sins be forgiven. And people say, Ah, what is this? And Jesus said, Which is easier? Hi. That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy. It's not just recitation. Are we together? Mama, I'll pray for you. Go back and join them. Those of you standing here, the overflow, lift your right hand and sincerely, you are not reciting a poem. From the depth of your heart, I want you to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. No, some of you are crying, but don't worry. Jesus sees your tears. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted
I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of sin, the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now. I declare your sins forgiven. I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today. The Lord transforms your life by His Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, I want you to do something for me very quickly. Please cooperate with all the people. Um, whether outside any of the overflows, there is a gentleman waving his hand, some um, of the uh, ushers there. I want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly. This is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you. So do that very, very quickly. Very quickly. Madam, I will pray for you. You go and write your name and come back. While we are waiting for them, please make sure we are going to be very fast. You see that our time is gone. So it's going to be a very quick walk. Very quick walk. We are going straight to the business of the night. And I want you to believe it doesn't take time. It only takes God. It doesn't take time. It only takes God. Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. We are going to trust the Lord to... Please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus please be serious in the name of jesus i decree and i declare that every spirit every force every influence standing against god's word over my life i declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala braskada baladia. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory. Don't let the challenge, don't let the challenge limit you. Take your eyes away from it and pray. Are you praying inside and outside? Thank you, Jesus. Who can stand against the Lord? No one can, no one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can, no one will. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. Such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Lift your hands and just be silent. Please. 
Halabraske da Brando Silabariata. I'm seeing two numbers, five and one. And the Lord is saying there are 51 people here. 51 people. He's bringing massive deliverance to their families. I want you to bring them out. 51 people. Don't shout. Don't do nothing. Just keep your hands. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. And the power of God, that unction for deliverance, will move like wildfire all through the overflows. Right now. I stretch my hands in the name of the Lord God whose I am and whom I serve. Right now I release the ministry of angels. Mighty deliverance right now. Bring them out. The fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh, you are mighty on your throne. Sekete lakata, keep your hands lifted. Malekete prekete lakaya. Ay 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 ay. Mighty on your throne. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh. Hallelujah. Help that lady, please. You are my dear. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep. Hallelujah. You are my dear. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands in the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus, I release upon it the power to perform. Those influences. In the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all you reign you reign you reign you reign, Kadosh. You are mighty on your Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, Jesus. I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I open those gates. Kadosh. Gates be open. Gates of limitations. Gates of stagnation be open by the unction of the Spirit. Gates be open. Ephata be open. 
The gate must open. Tonight is a miracle service. I prophesied the two lift gate be open. The two lift gate. Many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, I see gates, gates of destinies, gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft, gates over families, no progress, no results. I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Gates be open. Listen. Listen to me. A gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirits that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three open it I open it I open it online outside I command it to open I command it to open locked by ancestry locked by divination locked by necromancy and projection manipulation of the constellations I command in the name of he that holds the key of David I command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the spirit of God is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family Visiting your family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a lady quickly. There's no time to speak. Our time is gone. We have to pray for the sick. But I'm seeing a lady. You have two sisters. Two of them are barren. They are married. No children. Please, where are you? It's part of your prayer request. You are wearing a black dress. You are the one. Come. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. I will be. Ah, there's witchcraft in your family. Look at me. Come. You are a great lady, but there is terrible witchcraft in your family. There is a lady. Again, the Lord is opening my eyes. I don't know why this happens. I'm seeing a map. Benway. Benway. Benway people get ready. Benway. 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 I see Benway. And the Lord says, stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing of the Spirit visiting people. Benway. 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 By the Spirit of God. By the Spirit of God. Hear me? And I'm hearing in my spirit break the covenant of motherhood I don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women I arrest it right now in the name of Jesus I see fire dropping right now people from Benway you are from Benway you come under this influence please help that person. Benway Benway the spirit of the living God 
the spirit of the living God traveling to Benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land release the destinies tied with you listen what I'm seeing is not good the Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees this is Otuko black ropes tied around trees and the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees in the name of Jesus Christ lift your hands at the count of three may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded I command it right now upon every shrine every activity of darkness in the name of Jesus let it come upon you now let it come upon you now let it come upon you now hallelujah the supernatural I've taught you operates only in partnership with five elements listen without one or more of these elements the supernatural cannot find expression I am seeing a wild this is a serpent I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again I'm seeing a serpent I stretch my hands the Bible says for the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not now listen carefully five elements of the supernatural number one is light the supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light number two the air sound the supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound number three the earth the earth is a universal point of contact every living thing makes contact with it number three are we together number four water the mystery that bears witness water is not an entity water is history water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit contained within it are more mysteries than we understand number five fire a mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is god can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the Lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the Lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters they are married no child are you married you are not married we have to pray I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you but God is raising you to be a savior in your family believe this thing no you may not look like it but it is the spirit of Deborah but first and foremost you must be delivered first God is not finished with her I command that devil go there is no hiding in his presence in the name of Jesus Christ hold my hands my dear in the name of Jesus the Lord God whom I serve I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now over your sisters over your life and over your family I command them to be broken right now I release upon you grace for restoration in the name of Jesus and I pray for you that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men I release that grace upon you I want you to go and tell your sisters the Lord brings a visitation to them even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh the Lord comes for them with strange visitations in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ now all those under the anointing I command the spirits any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims 
Therefore, in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent his majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One, two, three, be gone. Go! Out of their lives, destinies, now and forever. Out of their lives, out of their destinies, I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. I prophesy recovery. For when a thief is caught, he's made to pay back tenfold. I command recovery in the name of Jesus. Let them go. There is no hiding, for his light shines upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. If there is any project you are involved in, lift your hand. Any project. Business project. Building project. Please just lift your hands. Before I pray, we pray the prayer that will release speed. Projects. Ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time is a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening Thank you, Jesus. Let the word of God come upon this prophecy. Are you ready now? Number one. Are you ready? Number two. Libra Katu Soto Barikata. Now I want you to get ready. That grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run, overtaking the chariots of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready shout jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement i command you to advance i command you to move forward i break limitations i break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you God is greater, our God is stronger, God you are higher than many, all 
help me. Stretch your hands towards me. Don't lift it up. Stretch it towards me. There is, there is going to be an activation of strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. The time for impartation will come. But fire is living. And it's coming upon people and the Lord said, let them stretch their hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands back to you. In the name of Jesus. Gift, gift, gift. Don't man gift. Don't man gift. Where is it? I call it forth now. Don't man gift. Don't man gift. You may not know it's there. I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit. I'm talking of potentials. Gift, gift. I stir it up right now. Like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gift that will bring you honor. Gift. So toko toko to perekete Gift. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gift. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row. Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate him. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now, inside. Inside. It's a strange miracle coming for that person. The ninth row. Supernatural manifestation of the power of God. My sister, what do you want the Lord to do in your life? Uh -uh. You are just generalizing. Huh? I'm looking at you oh, and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it? Do you believe you can? Are you married? Huh? Where's your husband? Did you come with him? What do you want the Lord to do for him? See, this man is your real prayer point. That's, that's you want the Lord to honor him. And what, what is he doing now? I'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place. That has been your desire. Go and tell him that a man of God has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 I wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come 
my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 no. it's not just any grace i'll pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this room lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe yes madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Opo. where is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn to come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is you free madam where is your child did you come with your child there's no time to waste please i'll just pray for you so that we can go in the name of witchcraft now and on you right now jesus christ in the jesus christ lift your hand say after me in the name of jesus say it in the name of jesus the anointing of the holy spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray hi one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully i just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god if you are standing alone you must be married in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the holy spirit please stand you can go you can go pastor alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody i notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. we receive, we receive. Your, visitation. your visitation in the name of jesus we receive miracles, we receive miracles. signs and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry 
the hand of God is here to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ father we give you all the praise those online I want you to connect by faith and trust the power of God to touch you we have very few minutes to do this and in the name of Jesus will be done no matter what the issue is as we touch you start checking yourself you can register your testimony we'll take it on Friday whether you are standing in for someone don't worry the power of God is there to touch you in the name of Jesus father we give you all the praise do you know why I came here because I saw that this woman your issue is not just healing hold on I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport and then I'm looking at it and I saw a plane is it something like you were staying outside the country is that true yes sir. because I'm seeing a woman a plane bringing you is that true uh -uh. and the Lord is opening my eyes I'm seeing another vision I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man like your husband and that man drove you. Yes, sir. He drove. Yes, sir. From where? From abroad. Where is abroad? Qatar. From where? Where is he? This is you. Yes. Ah. One week. Oh my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful. Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? We, no other man. We are together in our blood. We are together. Are, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You say I told you what God was saying about Benway. You, you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So the he married lady, another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby? Yes, sir. No, he, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now see, said I should come see, back. Man, listen. This this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now I don't mean no disrespect, but you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again, not just people who have money. Huh? Don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe, one bag, and just carry you around like that. It must be godly. Look at what this man did for this woman. One week and left her with this innocent child. So where are you staying now? I'm staying out in Abuja. So my it's sister. from Abuja you came? Yes, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman? Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife? Yes, And she still came and married? Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. <laughs> He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Wow. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a penal state. You are suffering. Kai. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman. But she didn't look. If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now he went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody. 
and say everybody is stupid you are using the baby to make to get power you see why sometimes we avoid these things it's not because we cannot help people honestly it's because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of god you do anything to try to help this baby now you'll be in trouble are we together Holy share, help me. You're the God of awesome one. Hey, you stood up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even... No, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text. And the man is giving her a dirty slap. Slap on her face. The Bible says what God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made her dancer look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me? Because I'm seeing one mama coming to you in Abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody. She told you he's a man of God. He's a native doctor. Don't go anywhere. Huh? And number two, anybody that says you should bring one naira. What did I say? One naira for prayer. Just thank him and walk away. If, if this poor woman, you still collect money from her for prayer, then you must be a very wicked person, isn't it? In the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you working? What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor. So when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to be, I mean, the came so tough, the, the attack and the uh, foundation, it became so strong. So I took off. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, you would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal and just say, I am anointed. Be careful. As powerless as Satan is, is your understanding that this depowers him. If you don't have that understanding, you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed. Praise the Lord. My brother, hold my hands. I'm not just seeing you doing ministry. Truly, you need help. Eh? You need help. After service, come and see this man, Pastor Alpha. Eh? After service, come and see him. He will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. A time of prophecy and activations. Some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction. Your ministries, your lives, your businesses. The prophetic word of God is very powerful. When there is grace back in it. Because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the
the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a grace walking in this gentleman. You are the first. I know you are doing protocol work, but you are the first to receive this grace. I see a grace of two of you. Supernatural grace of the Holy Ghost. Taking you to a new dimension in the spirit. Hallelujah. Benga, come. Grace for another dimension of fire. Lift your hands. Grace. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. Fresh fire. Fresh dimension. You speak and there is power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. Power of performance. No word will be empty. You speak and there's grace and the power of performance. Hallelujah. Someone come and hold. Victor, come. Come and hold them. Somebody. Grace. Supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension. A dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus. Supernatural grace. I open up that level of grace in the name of Jesus Christ. 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 Where shall they? We're rounding up. They are doing their please someone hold her i don't want hold the child people, we have just a minute or two hold her make sure that ladies you come and hold her father in the name of jesus the lord is quickening the power of sight the grace to see the grace to see the grace to see make sure you are holding her well Penny, you are taking back fresh fire, fresh fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire. I'm not, it's not like I'm just speaking people. This is this is just by the spirit. Come. The Lord is bringing glory on you. your hands in the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you see, hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time, come. God is giving it to you in this season in the name of Jesus. May that fire, may that grace, take a drink of that wine in the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction. Capacity. Open up your capacity in the spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's a heavy spirit on that small girl. In the name of Jesus Christ. Place it on her. Just place it on her. Leave it there in the name of Jesus. Judgment upon that devil. Foul spirit. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but I want you to receive. Let me start with the men of God. You are in ministry here. It's time to take something heavy and something genuine. Let me pray. Jamfa, come. Ejimi, come. I'm seeing a, a new, a truly new grace and a new wine. New grace and a new wine. A supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. 
I open up, I open up, I open up closed fountains. I open up now closed fountains. I open up now fire, fresh grace for influence, 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 business influence, new grace, new dimensions of wealth, influence, commanding miracles, strange miracles. Collect that child from hope. Collect that child from hope. In the name of Jesus. Fresh fire hope. I activate that dimension. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. God is giving you eyes that see. Strange things. Revealing direction for people's lives. In the name of Jesus. Where's Aaron? Aaron. Where's Aaron? In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ God, something is coming strong go the unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren where is Yerima, head of department media? Please come quickly. Quickly, I'm praying. Where is he? Oh, that's him there. In the name of Jesus, the Lord says he's bringing you honor, untold honor, untold honor by the spirit of the living God. Untold honor, untold honor, untold honor. Now I decree and declare, Jordan, where's Jordan? Jordan bookstore I hear restoration where are you restoration fire that restoration fire in the name of Jesus everything the canker worm the palmer worm has stolen restoration in the name of Jesus now I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed Receive it now. Receive it now. Speed, speed, speed. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed by the unction of the Spirit. Speed in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of jesus i stretch my hands and i place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's pastor alpha's wife just hold her there she's heavy so in the name of jesus the Lord is saying, have I not said I will bring you favor? It will manifest. God is bringing favor. After you give birth to your child, pastor, your family will step into a strange level of favor. It will be at the commencement of this boy's birth, of this child. The moment the child is born, in the name of Jesus Christ, there will be strange miracles. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit, I pray for you. The kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life. I declare, receive it now. Receive it right now. All your tithes, your giving, God has released the blessings, but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit. Jabakatos kebranda, lates kabrete kapariatos. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. I command the release of your harvest. 
whatever was not working in your life before you came here I decree by the spirit of the living God go back to it and watch it work in a way that will shock you whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately I say it again whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you to make sure that you die or any bad news from your family I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever heard this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are walking and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your world life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of 
big man is him it truly is a sign that god is with you read your bible there is nobody that god was with who he did not lift god who can pick a man from a donkey many of us it's not like you are doing bad but where you are you have been there for a long time everybody is rising and they come and see you spiritually financially please don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of god if you are not lifted you will be frustrated at a point because the only way to bless others is as you are rising therefore i speak to your life the god who has gloriously lifted this ministry the god who by his spirit has helped us giving us a voice connected us to over 44 nations of the earth supernaturally by his spirit i pray in the name of jesus wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to i decree and declare maraka dosh calibre getelator mare dos copre teke labariatata be lifted now in the name of jesus be lifted now in the name of jesus i speak to your business whatever you do be lifted now in the name of jesus i speak to your ministry be lifted now in the name of jesus they are taking for a prey and none say it restore i say restore i prophesy restore in the name of jesus wave your hands and give jesus all the praise hello scriptures exhort us from the book of proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.